Hi guys, so the reason why you're here is because you probably want to change your PSN, your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4, whatever PlayStation you have. You want to, you want to change your ID or your username. Um, you're currently playing Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 and you want to see if it will affect your in-game progress or um, your guns, all the guns that you've brought any any mods or packages so what i'm going to do is be the guinea pig and show you whether it changes anything whether you lose anything um so let's go what i'll do is show you right now that i am level 660 well 661 um as you can see my activision name is battle duty x my playstation name is nutella man 2021 i'll quickly show you some of the guns that i have and some of the guns that i've brought and then once i've changed we'll come back in and you'll be able to see whether everything is still there or not we'll also look at um my progression to see if i'm still at the same level now i just brought this new gun volcanic intentions so as you can see there it is there Um, I've also got one gun that I'm really worried about losing that hopefully I don't lose it because you can't buy it anymore in the store. Um, it's my AR M13B. Retrospective. So that's it there. All right, we're going to change the username. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do it, I think. Go into account. Profile. Online ID. I think that's it there. Read this for changing your ID. All PS5 titles are expected to support the online ID change feature. Oh, so that's that's positive. That's positive. I mean, hopefully, that's right. Not all games and apps for PS4, PS3, PS Vita, and other PlayStation consoles support the online ID change feature. If you change your ID, you may lose access to content, blah, blah, blah. You may lose progress, blah, blah, blah. All right, so it's saying that PS5 should be okay. So if you're on PS5, it's looking good so far. But don't change it yet. Continue to watch and we'll find out. Um, let's just look... Uh, so we'll go accept if you've already saved your progress in all games on the console you're currently signed into select if you haven't already okay so i'm going to save make sure you do this we're going to we're going to save everything to a usb there we go we go to sit you go to system and then you go down to backup and restore data Back up PS5. So we're not going to save games and apps. We're just going to go to saved data. Um, don't worry about screenshots and video clips and settings. Sony's Sony's saying there in the terms that um you know PS5 should be alright. All all games all PS5 games support. The name change so we should be good backup complete okay where did we go before accounts profile id accept After you change your ID, immediately launch your games to check for any issues such as lost content, progress functionality. If you experience any issues, you can change your name back to previous ID without charge by following the steps in the guide PlayStation slash online ID slash help. So you can change it back. So don't be afraid to change it. We can always change it back. 
and that should fix any issues. Changing back your previous ID may not, okay, changing it may not fix the issues. For example, you may not recover all or any lost content progress and functionality. If you want to change back, do so as soon as possible because changing back to your previous online ID may affect content, game progress and functionality associated with your new online ID. It's a bit scary doing this. All right, so it's going to approve approve that on my on my phone. I don't know if you can see that. So I just signed in and approved everything with my phone. Um, now I can change it. You have to have the PlayStation app on your phone to be able to sign in quickly like that without using your password. Um, usually it just prompts you on your, on your app and it asks you to approve it. All right, so let's see if my name's available. Hopefully it is. It, it was the last time I looked. Right. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to display our um, our old name for a month for thirty days, so everyone can see that we've changed it to Battle Duty X. Confirm and sign out. Run in successful. Worry about any of that. Okay, so it looks like my name has changed to Battle Duty X. You can see it right there at the top. Yep, there it is there. So if I go to my profile, as you can see, it shows Battle Duty X in brackets, my old username, and tell the man. 2021. So it's changed it. All right, so a moment of truth. Let's check all the content and my progress. All right, so as you guys can see, my progression is still level 661. I haven't lost any progression. Let's see if we've lost any gaming content like guns. The guns look like they're still there. It's still there. Volcanic Intentions, it's still there. Let's see if my other guns are still there, like my M13B, which is the most important one for me. Alright, everything is still there. So there you go, guys. If you're playing Modern Warfare 2... We'll actually, if we, we'll check on Modern Warfare 3 as well, but if you're playing Modern Warfare 2, you can change your, your PSN um, ID and everything will still be there. Your progression and all your guns. So what we'll do now is we'll just go quickly check on Modern Warfare 3 and see if it's changed anything on Modern Warfare 3. Weapons. Yeah, all my weapons are still there. So, there it is, guys. If you want to change your PSN ID and you're playing Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, it will not affect any gaming content. No, it won't affect your progression and it won't affect your um, guns. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can come over and uh, see some of my gaming content. Like, subscribe. Enjoy, guys. Hope that helped.